What's up you guys? This is Steven and I'm back with another photo analysis. This time I'll be analyzing the album cover of Nami Tamaki's compilation album, Graduation. Alright, so when I first looked at this album cover, I was like, okay, so Nami Tamaki has graduated from J-pop princess to J-pop twerk queen. Twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. But I'm like, where did that come from? You know, like, I don't quite understand where, what she's trying to, like, I don't understand, I don't think the theme graduation was really used for this album cover, you know? As well, um, I don't quite understand how this album cover really fits into the theme. It's a bit, it's a bit random, really you know but um let me analyze this cover for you guys alright so we got Nami Tamaki and it looks like she's at a party and it looks like um, in the background there's some party girls there too and sidebar these party girls don't look Japanese they look Caucasian and I don't know if that was intentional were they going for more of like oh let's make it more exotic or what they like going on stereotypes you know um, but nevertheless, um, we got Nami Tamaki here, and she's wearing some um, really high boots and a short skirt. It looks like a skirt. It could be like shorts, but I think it's a skirt though. Um, and she has a look on her face. She's trying to be sexy with the look, but I don't think she pulled off sexy. You know. As well, I think she lost her neck in the photo. And she's going for like wind in the hair, but I don't think the wind hit her hair right, you know, at least not based on this photo. Um, as well, if you look at her arm on the right, you'll see like it's kind of blurred, you know, it's like they blurred that little area and then like the black of her dress blurred onto her arms. And then it looks like she's either wearing some jewelry or either, you know, that's just some more of the black from the dress that blurred onto her wrist. So I don't understand that. I'm like, what was that about? So, like someone should have caught that. You know, I don't think that was a good look. But then again, I think, you know, I don't think people, I think they're, they might, like, Nami Tamaki's team, it seems like they're, like, on autopilot, possibly, in terms of this whole photo shoot. It just seems like they just went for anything that was just maybe hot at the moment or just anything they felt that would, you know, help sell the album. And putting Nami Tamaki in a short skirt with some high, you know, some high heel boots. I guess they thought that was going to sell it. She's also showing midriff, too. And um, I think that's cool. Um, however, I think, you know, sometimes I think it might be a little too much skin. It's kind of like, you know, if you wear maybe, like, you wear, like, shorts, then you wouldn't want to wear, like, a high tank top because I guess I don't know it's kind of like a fashion thing where it's like sometimes you don't want to show too much skin because then you send a certain message as a woman anyway you know as a woman if you do that it might send a certain message um, <clears throat> and I think Nami Tamaki might be sending that message but I think her team probably wants to send that message so maybe it works out for her um, but again, it looks like she's at a party. And she's partying and dancing or whatever. But I don't know. This doesn't really seem to go with the. I don't know. This doesn't really seem to suit Nami Tamaki, in my opinion. I don't know why. I'm not buying it, you know? She looks like a go go dancer or something. You know, like, is this what you graduated to become? A go go dancer? Like, I don't know, I guess I 
when I imagine graduation, I imagine going to a higher level, you know, I'm sure like it could have like she doesn't have to go with the like the very obvious and like wear a cap and gown, you know, she doesn't have to do that. But she could have maybe incorporated like going in like graduating as maybe going up some stairs, perhaps they could have had her going up some stairs. Um, you know, implying that she's going to the next level. But, I don't know, I just, okay, it's safe to say that the theme of graduation was not used in this photo. So, that is the strike one for Nami Tamaki there. Then, you know, this outfit, I don't really know where it comes into play. Like, I guess she's trying to be a little more, you know, sexual and change up her image. Um, but I think the outfit, it's, it's okay. I think it, um, if she had not did the midriff and just had like a long shirt, that would have made it look a little better and a little less, um, you know, skanky or skankish. I'm not sure which word is correct. Um, as well, she should have worked her neck better. And the look on her face should have been different. She's going for sexy, but I'm not totally getting sexy, you know. And also, if you look at her fingers on, like, the left, like, look at her left hand, like, the, the fingers on her dress. Like, look at the way her fingers look. It's like her pinky is, like, on a whole nother story. Like. <laughs> It's on a whole nother mission there. Like, I don't know. Her fingers look weird. Um, so for me, overall, I don't think this was the, a, like, based on the theme, and I don't think this was a good photo for the theme graduation as well. I don't really think this is really, like, a good photo in general. It's an all right photo. It's not totally terrible, but, you know, I just think that there was definitely room for improvement and this could have been better um, and I don't like yeah they're going for like a whole party theme here and like Nami Tamaki in the club type thing this really just doesn't it it's really random again it's really random like where did they come up with this for this this should have if this photo was to be used if they just had to use this photo this could have been for maybe like an upcoming album of Nami Tamaki I think that this album cover should have paid homage to the previous Nami Tamaki or just incorporated the theme of graduation into it I, I just think that's how it should have been this again this album cover here is very random I don't understand it um, I think Nami Tamaki looks nice, however, I think she has had better looking photos, though. In, in my opinion, I think she has looked better than this. So, it just kind of makes Nami Tamaki look, uh, like a little cheap, you know, a little, almost kind of a little cheap, a little desperate. Yeah. Like, look at the pose she do that she's doing. You know, she's going for she, you know she's trying to do like the sexy thing. You know, she's trying to be sexy and kind of like you know like oh look at me I'm sexy, but I just don't I don't know I don't think this was the best time to pull out the sexy this particular look. I think this probably should have been just a photo that was just posted on her website or on some social media page or something you know I don't think this was a the best look for Nami Tamaki I know they want to like mature her image like you know make her look more mature and to appeal to older um, music listeners and things like that but I just think that you know it wasn't executed the best way and this photo isn't terrible but there are some issues with it you know kinda like you know the neck thing and then the blurred 
um, dress, and then um, the fingers. But I think that they tried, they released this photo for this album cover because they were trying to show that Nami Tamaki is mature. You know, she's like she can appeal to a more mature audience but the thing is these singles graduation you know the singles on the compilation album graduation do not really correspond to not me to Maki's current image I don't think so or at least part of them do and part of them don't so I I don't I just for some reason I guess an interesting photo but I'm not feeling it for this particular album for graduation I'm not also if you notice in the background like those chicks look a little run down you know but I guess they did that on purpose so that you know Nami Tamaki would be the highlight um, really in all honesty I don't think they should have even been on the cover I know it's a party but Maybe they could have tried something like, you know, Nami dancing in the spotlight. You see her up in the club. You see Nami up in the club. What? Because you know Nami feels all right. And tonight's her night. She's got nothing to hide. She's dancing in the spotlight. She's feeling alive. Come on, Tokyo. She's got nothing to hide. Yeah, she's dancing in the spotlight. You know, perhaps the spotlight photo could have worked a little better. But, you know, I don't want it to seem like I'm bashing Nami Tamaki because that's not really my intent. But overall, I just feel like the photo, you know, could have been better. And I just don't understand why this photo, it just seemed, for me, it just seemed very random. I don't know. That's odd. I don't know why, but it's, it just seems a bit unexpected from Nami Tamaki but that's all I have to say because at this point now I think I'm just pretty much repeating things I've already said so thanks a lot for watching feel free to comment feel free to subscribe feel free to give me a thumbs up it's greatly appreciated you know hey what do you think of the photo hey let me know again thanks for watching until the next video Adios and goodbye for now.